Okay, 37. An isomerase is represented using the EC classification system with E5. EC5 is the correct answer. 38. How does affinity for a substrate relate to KM? A low KM means low affinity. Incorrect. A low KM means high affinity for a substrate. B is the correct answer. If an enzyme has a KM for a substrate of 0.5 millimolar, and that enzyme is supplied with uh, 0.1 millimolar of that substrate, what is the initial velocity of that reaction? Okay, so the initial velocity of that reaction. We have answer option C, answer option B, which is we are at half of B max. C, which is we are at two times V max, D less than half less than V max over two, and E more than V max over two. Okay, let's think about this. Our our initial velocity, or sorry, our V max and our substrate concentration, 0.5 millimolar uh, is our KM. So if we give our enzyme 20% of that or 0.1 millimolar, one-fifth of what our enzyme needs, we are not going to be at half of Vmax. We're at less than half of Vmax. We're not going to be at two times Vmax because it's a Vmax. It's our maximum velocity. So C is out. So B and C are out. And then D, less than Vmax over two or more than Vmax over two. The correct answer for this one is D. Number 39 is D. Number 40, why does KCAT tell more of a story of enzymatic activity? Well, KCAT accounts for an enzyme with multiple active sites. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. KCAT is Vmax divided by enzyme concentration or the number of active sites, or that's one other component. Um, 41, Does what does KCAT over KM estimate? Really estimates your enzyme's efficiency. So how attracted is it to its substrate and how much does it actually churn out next up 42 which type of inhibitor only binds to the free enzyme that would be a competitive inhibitor 43 a mixed or non-competitive inhibitor can bind to the free enzyme and the es complex which is why it's mixed how does vmax change with an uncompetitive inhibitor well, that causes the Vmax to go down. Number 45, a competitive inhibitor will cause the KM to go up and the Vmax will be unchanged, which is why in a line weaver burke plot, we see that intersection at our y-axis because the Vmax has not changed. 46, what is the label or the y-axis label for a line weaver burke plot? That's one over our initial velocity or A. Number 47, what is the x-axis label for a Michaelis-Minton plot? Well, Michaelis-Minton plot is velo initial velocity versus substrate concentration. So C is the correct answer for number 47. Number 48, which bisubstrate reaction produces a unique form of the enzyme after it releases its first product? The correct answer for this is a ping pong uh, mechanism. So 48 is B. 49, which type of inhibitor is more likely to make or break a covalent bond? Well, that would be an irreversible uh, inhibitor. If it breaks that bond like a protease, it takes that protein and it cuts it. Now it's in two pieces. So that would be an irreversible inhibitor. Vmax is, well, this is A, the maximum rate of enzyme reaction. Okay, well, that wraps up this exam. I hope this is helpful. If you have any more questions about this or if you want your exam specifically, let me know and I will get that back to you. All right, well, have a good